Greetings all, we're back. And Brian got his Patreon set up. And what he decided to do was actually charge a dollar for his uh, sermons, unfortunately. Um, doesn't have much up there right now. A few things. And, and yeah. Um, what, what I'm wondering about is he does a lot of longer sermons that sometimes are two-parters. Does that mean I got to pay two bucks? Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. He said um, everything's open to change because he's new to the system. And hopefully he goes to, I sent him a private message when he first announced it off of uh, this video. Um, you're probably better off doing a, like a $5 monthly fee because if you put out and he's thinking like if he does 20 videos a month or something you get to pick and choose which ones you actually want to watch well if who's going to watch a three-part series I mean, it's three bucks then i just don't think that that's a very good idea whereas you consider if he's got twenty-four thousand subscribers he probably would have 500 patrons at least and at five bucks a month well it's 2500 dollars a month minus patreon fees which seems like that should be pretty good and of course, that will eventually grow, you know, up to a thousand. Then you're up to five thousand dollars a month, minus Patreon fees, which seems like it's pretty good. But he's going to do what he wants to do, and he's not taking his stuff down from YouTube. He's still going to post to YouTube. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, as far as whether anything is going to be on my channel, probably not, because anything that I'm, I honestly can't afford to pay for if I was going to watch Brian's sermons, because if he's going to do put twenty of them out. I don't have 20 bucks a month to do that with. Um, sadly, unfortunately, five bucks a month. Yeah, I'll do that. But um, paying for every individual video, especially when it doesn't show you how long they are. So you don't know if it's just something that's a 15 minute video or if it's an actual sermon or, or what's going on with that. What I want to talk about and touch base on again <clears throat> that I have my concerns with is... In this video, Income Issues, he talks about the projects that he wants to be involved in and wants to uh, work on, and that's his goals for this year. And that those projects are going to cost a lot of money. And I'll just say that, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost him a lot of money. Now, whether or not that's donation money, I have no idea. Maybe they got inherited some money. Maybe they sold something that was worth some money. I have no idea. I can't speculate on any of that stuff. Um... But what worries me is with the projects that he talked about in this video, building a tiny house, I think they're called, where you make it out of a trailer or something, um, and looking at getting a ministry office, and I think getting a car or something like this. Um, he goes on. He goes on in detail about exactly what he's spending money on for what he's doing in this video. And like I said, the concerns that I have is he's doing, these are all like major projects. Um, his house was surprisingly less money than mine. I was amazed. Um, but it required a ton of work. My house, 37,000, but I had to put about $20,000 worth of, uh, materials into it along with buying the tools so I could repair it. And I was fortunate enough that I was able to be here and work on it pretty much nonstop for six or eight months, you know, 12, 16 hours a day sometimes because there was that much wrong before we could really start moving things in. Um, but anyways, with projects like that, I am curious if you can call yourself, this is... This is why, in my opinion, um, Brian's not going to get a job because he just doesn't have time to. He says it would take away from time from his ministry. Well, if you're rebuilding every project that you're working on, basically from the ground up, and his property, he said, was an hour and a half drive away from where their house is. So if you go down there and work on your property and drive back, that's like three hours right there. And you've got this, all these projects you're working on, but yet you're supposed to be in full-time ministry. So I'm questioning, how are, how are you going to pull that off and how much effort are you really putting into 
your ministry work when you have all these other things going on. That's the concern I have. You know, the money thing is a little concerning, but, you know, I have no idea um, where his money comes from, so I can't speak to anything like that. But I will mention that you notice, you know, kind of what his setup is here. This is from the ninth. If you look at his videos just from two years ago, because I got sick of scrolling, they look exactly the same. So what else is going on with ministry money and stuff? I mean, obviously, you got to replace <clears throat> tech equipment and stuff like that, but it's a video ministry, and you got to pay your internet bills and, and stuff like that. It's just a question that I have. And the reason that I asked that question is because we'll bring up Mr. Dr. Dino, who also decided to buy property in the middle of nowhere and because he wanted to do Dinosaur Adventureland. And he has two dozen people down there helping him. I mean, there's a whole bunch of volunteers that show up every all the time. He has some employees, and he hires contractors and stuff to try and do this. And this is all off of donations. But you can see um, what he's doing. Children's books, audio books, and building Dinosaur Adventureland. And I kind of, I'm kind of not seeing it on the Brian Denlinger side. I'm just, I'm kind of not. When I donated to him, he mentioned all these big things that were going to be going on with the ministry changes and stuff. And this is, this was about two years ago when I donated and it kind of looks the same. It's just, I don't know. But from this video right here, I'm not going to talk about the one on Patreon. If you want to watch it, you can go up and go watch it. Sign up for Patreon. It's a dollar. And this one right here, he talks about what his projects are. And he goes into further in depth about where ministry money is going and what he's doing with it. And it's not the money that really concerns me, like I said. It's that these projects take massive amounts of time. And there's one, one project in particular. I have no idea how he's going to pull it off. But I'm thinking to myself, man, all I did was kind of like remodel the inside of my house. And that took me six, eight months. Of <laughs> lots and lots of work. So... My concerns lead back to how much effort is going to go into the ministry, especially now that he's, he's actually selling his sermons, which to me kind of feels like <clears throat> sometime during the church service, they pass around the basket and people throw their money in the basket. What it feels like to me is before I even get to the church, I got to go to the ticket booth outside hand them a dollar and they give me a ticket and then I get to go in like a movie theater or something. And when we're dealing with stuff like the Lord's work, um, yes, it took some, a little bit of research and you had to look up some scriptures and put it, put the sermon together. And there are some very in-depth ones that probably took a long time. But having him behind a dollar paywall is just kind of, eh? You're 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 selling the you're selling the Bible or something or selling the scripture? I I don't know. Of course, he's entitled to his work, but if he's using basically ministry money to make his hopes and dreams come true, well, I don't know about that. Then it sounds like he's doing pretty good. But. I don't know. I enjoy his sermons. I can't afford to pay for them. Not if he's going to do 20 of them in a month. But if you enjoy Brian, head up to his Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and it's uh, husky394xp. Just search for that and you'll see his you'll see his page, but there's not much on, on there right now. I'm sure he's going to be steadily adding to it. And... That's all with that. See you next time.